Okay, we're going to go over the kit reveal for Padme, and then we're also going to go over the Zeta and the modifications to Jedi Knight Anakin. And first things first, I want to say that uh, people have been using Jedi Knight Anakin right now under a Revan team, and it no longer will work. It's basically a nerf at least for people that were using uh, Jedi Knight Anakin inside of a Revan team, because now it's going to work differently. To basically get that bonus damage, it has to be an all-Galactic Republic team. But uh, there's some reasons for that, and that's because uh, Padme is going to get a bonus turn right after Anakin when that triggers. Uh, plus now he has a way of dispelling positive effects on the opponents of Padme's presence. So it, it's a it's a boost and a nerf, but basically uh, the standalone viability of Jedi Knight Anakin in teams outside of the Galactic Republic is going to be reduced. So we're gonna talk about the kit for Padme. We're gonna talk about how to get Padme and we're gonna talk about the difficulty level. Now, the Venge is gonna be dropping on, in theory, on the second. It's gonna be Separatists. It's going to be an arduous, difficult task to unlike Padme. It's going to be a far star unlock. And so what they said is that it's going to be like chewy difficulty. And, and I'm just going to guess right here. If you have the Separatist droids, Grievous and company, it's probably going to be a much, much, much easier event than people that have the bugs, the Genotians or Poggle. Uh, we'll see. Uh, myself, personally, I, my goal is to get at least a five or a six star. I, I don't know if seven star is in the, the works right now. And then they've said publicly, which uh, actually mirrors my testing of this team right here. Actually, the team that I preferred the best uh, was with Padme Lead, Jedi Knight Anakin, General Kenobi Ahsoka, and R2-D2. But, you know, there's some other combinations, but... I found the power levels of the team to be equivalent of Jedi Knight Revan and Darth Revan without Malak. But with Malak, uh, this team, I just can't quite get there. Malak is is boss, and Malak is going to be the meta for some time. Uh, but this is a very good, very important team. So let's look at the Anakin uh, rework and modifications in his Zeta. We're going to look at the Padme kit. And then we're also going to look at the protection up explanation. Boy, it's confusing, but I think there's important stuff that you need to know about how protection work. Well, so let's get to the Anakin rework again. Uh, basically, special one overpowering a spalt. So this is his AOE, which is uh, quite fantastic. If Padme is an ally, Dispel all buffs on all enemies. That is a dramatic boost. Okay, next is unique. This is very important. And I just want to, I'm going to talk about the good part first. If Padme is an ally, she takes a bonus turn after each of Anakin's bonus turn. So if someone drops below 50% health, Anakin gets to go and then Padme gets to go. This is good. This is a good team. It's just Anakin's not going to be viable in a Jedi Knight Revan team. Uh, so, because uh, that was a solution to Malak. And it looks like that's kind of being pulled away. They're backing away from that. Uh, maybe we're all going to have to run Grandmaster Yoda on... Uh, our, our Revan teams, <laughs> our Darth Revan teams to get the tenacity up. I don't know. The meta is going to change. Uh, so because this bonus damage, this 100% bonus damage is only going to come into effect if all allies were Galactic Republic at the start of battle. So that is a, a nerf. It is a nerf. And um, uh, my testing with this team was that this is a good team and it had no problems with any teams except for Malik. And it really depended then on mods. Uh, it, the game has become all about mods. I mean, anyways, let's just go over Padme's kit uh, right here, which uh, she's great. She's important, uh, just like R2-D2 and C-3PO and, and Chewie's important. Legendary characters in this game are important. Uh, she may not be better than Malik, but uh, she's definitely important, and I think she's going to be vital in, in all game modes, uh, absolutely. Her basic attack is aggressive negotiations, deal physical damage to target enemy, which can't be evaded. All Galactic Republic allies gain protection up 10% for one turn, and there's the animation there. And I, I don't know, I, you know, everybody talked about midriff, 
Padme and the Torn. That's a meme. I don't know if anybody really thought that was serious that they were going to bring that version of the character to the game. I thought it was just a meme, but actually I, I found out people were upset <laughs> that they weren't going to use that character. I, I don't know. I just thought it's kind of like a meme like Slave Leia or, or Carbonite Han. I never really thought it was like... Like, uh, people were actually expecting uh, Midriff Padme to come to the game, and that was when she was, like, torn by the... Anyways, let's move on to the next ability. Cunning Plan, cooldown of three. Dispel all debuffs on light side allies, which is cool, and they recover 50% health for each Galactic Republic ally and each debuff dispelled for themselves. Galactic Republic allies gain protection up, stacking for one turn. And we're not going to read, like, heavily uh, on the protection up explanation. I, I do want to talk about how it works with max health. When you're modding, you want to mod uh, her for health rather than protection because that's how protection up works. Works that way on Treya, works that way on Nest. Uh, it's kind of confusing. At least they're now saying publicly that it works with health before we had to go into the code on SWGOH.GG and see that it was based off of max health. But it's actually... It's been confusing in that way for a long time. So we'll go over that briefly uh, because this kid is all about protection up and her leadership ability. Uh, Graceful Assault, this is her her uh, ultimate, her third ability, and it's a mass assist. Deal physical damage to target enemy and stun them for one turn, which can't be copied or dispelled. Then call all light side allies with protection up and Jedi Knight Anakin to assist. And the question came up, does Jedi Knight Anakin uh, attack twice? And the answer is no. Just attack once. Uh, okay. And I. the other thing, too, is there was a whole developer comment about this kit and this character and the art. Uh, because it is based off of uh, the more of the Clone Wars TV show uh, rather than the actual movies, which, okay. Her leadership ability. Light side allies have 50% max health, and while they have protection up, they resist all debuffs. <laughs> okay. Uh, ba battle meditation. And she's fast. She has like 170 speed. I, I, that's not here in this post, but that was on SWGH.GG. So that means she's going to be faster than Revan. She's going to be faster than Grandmaster Yoda. She's going to be one of the faster characters in the game at 170 speed. I think there's like Thrawn and Sith Assassin up there. She's really fast. And so uh, getting that protection up on them quickly so that they can resist debuffs and uh, it's going to make it go a lot better. At the start of their turn, Galactic Rebellies dispel protection up, buffs on themselves and gain one stack of courage for each 5% protection up. Dispelled this way. Courage can't be copied, dispelled, or prevented. And that shows up in blue. And then her stun ability, where did it go? And stun them for one turn, which can't be copied or dispelled. Uh, that is, it'll have like a lock icon on it. Uh, very good. Uh, courage, when the target enemy has, with an attack for each stacks of courage, dispel all, dispel five stacks and deal bonus damage equal to 40% of the target's max health. Uh, it's an uphill battle versus Malik, let me tell you, but that'll chew through Nihilus like it's nothing. Unique. Always a choice. And this is a Zeta. Padme's immune to fear. This makes her very strong against non-Malik Darth Revan teams. Whenever a light side ally loses protection up, they recover 5% health. Allies can't gain or lose bonus turn meter, which is fine. Whenever an enemy attacks out of turn against a Galactic Republic ally, that ally gains protection up 10% for one turn, increased to 40%. Padme is their leader. This protection up can't be prevented or dispelled. So this is going to be a Galactic Republic team, kind of a forced into the faction. That's just the way it is. Let's just s slip over to uh, the protection up conversation. Uh, because I'm glad that they're talking about how protection up, you know, which is also and bonus protection, which is on Nest and Tre, is based off of max health. So in modding, any character that has protection up or bonus protection, health, 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 it doesn't make sense. It's never really been explained before. This post goes into it into detail, and it also explains the difference between stacking and non-stacking, and it has to do with where the source comes from. And if it's non-stacking, uh, the source will replace the old one. So like if you use like half of the protection and then the source, the same exact source of the protection fuels it again, it will 
uh, go back to the max and replace the amount. And then it also talks about how uh, protection is taken off of based on like a first in, first out. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. It was really confusing. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say it's not confusing right there. And I just want to kind of get into this right here. And uh, they do, the developers said basically the exact same thing uh, that I thought when I was playing this and I was testing this. First of all, I want to say that I was impressed and it was very good. Uh, The problem is Malak takes reduced damage from percent health damage effects like Courage, creating a notable uphill battle for Padme when fighting Darth Malak. I remember playing this and it was like, Malik will like just take out almost the whole team. I mean, there was, it's going to come down to mods, 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 mods. And I just want to say that this right here, what they said is exactly what I found in my test is Padme is the leader of the Glaster Republic squad and should be very competitive in PVP. Our goal is for her squad to sit alongside Darth Revan without Malik and Jedi Knight Revan squads in terms of power level and competitive viability. That is 100% what I experienced in my testing of this character. I'm uh, pretty excited. Um, I'm a little disappointed about Anakin uh, not going to be viable. I'm guessing he's not going to be viable under uh, Jedi Knight Revan anymore, but we'll see. All right, well, now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you liked this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free in your account an eight-star Watto. This is not a scam. Yeah, okay. Uh, they also said that Newt Gunray and Count Dooku are going to get reworks, and they're going to be doing that here soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and keep on gaming.